In the last couple of sections, we wrote out all the raw source code for our Fibonacci calculator application. We put together everything for the React server, the Express API, and the worker process as well. In this section, we're going to do a little bit of reconciliation. So if you decided to skip the last dozen or so videos where we wrote out all the raw source code, then stay around because I'm going to show you how to take the checkpoint.zip file that you downloaded out of the last section and apply it to your project to set everything up. If you did not skip those videos, so if you wrote all the code with me, then you have two choices. You can either continue on right now and use all the source code you just wrote, or alternatively, and I highly recommend you do this to be honest, I recommend you go back and download that checkpoint.zip file and follow through these directions anyways, just to avoid the possibility of you having made any typo as we went through all that typing in the last couple of videos. So either way, either continue on if you're really confident with the code you wrote. Otherwise, make sure you've got that checkpoint.zip file from the last lecture. So let's get to it. We're going to make use of the checkpoint.zip file. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my terminal. I'm in a workspace directory of sorts. Inside of here, you'll see the front end project we worked on, the Redis image, and simple web. I'm going to make sure that inside of here, I have a folder called complex. That's going to be the name of this application. It is a complex application. I'm going to change into that folder. And then I'm going to open up a file and folder explorer based on that folder. So here's the complex folder right here. I'll then get the checkpoint zip file that I just downloaded as well. So here's checkpoint.zip. I'm going to extract everything inside there. So here's everything that was inside of that zip file. Inside that zip file, you'll see the client, server, and worker directories. So I'm going to take these three folders and I'm just going to copy them all over to the complex directory, overwriting anything that is already in there. So now if I go back over to my terminal, inside the complex directory, and I list out all my files and folders, I should see the client, the server, and the worker inside of here. Cool. So that's pretty much it. Again, you had to go through those steps if you did not write that code with me. If you did write the code with me, I still recommend you make use of everything inside the checkpoint.zip file just to avoid the possibility of there being any little typos in there or anything like that. So now that we are all caught up and we're all back together with all the source code we need, let's take a quick break. In the next section, we're going to start putting together some Docker containers for each of those different parts of our application. So I'll see you in just a minute.